hey guys hello welcome to a new video and today we are going to learn about reverb so what's basically reverb is that echo sound uh, which you hear uh, in music or anywhere in videos or anyway so uh, we are going to specifically learn about ableton's reverb the stock reverb plugin and um, this the knowledge which you basically learn from this can be applied to any other reverb whichever you use so so let's start with this i guess uh, so i have uh, this uh, reverb enabled on my first channel and we are going to start uh, about learning about input processing so input processing is basically uh, the signal which uh, comes in uh, example I'll just hear the signal first what's coming in into our reverb uh, I'll increase the decay time a bit to hear the reverb very nicely and uh, drive it also a little so let's just hear what we can hear so there's the signal which is getting processed and the reverb which is coming let's hear it without the reverb okay so there's a lot of reverb which is going in so what are the options we have so there is this in input processing this is low cut and there is a high cut so just let's see here the uh, let's low cut it a bit ok so I am going to low cut over somewhere over here so it gives a quiet and sound because we are cutting the low end and we are keeping the high end in the reverb so okay now let's do a high cut and hear it so we are basically cutting the high frequencies and not allowing it into the reverb basically how the low cut and the high cut are working so this basically when we enable both them on then we can specifically select what frequencies we want the reverb to process so if you want to see what uh, the signal is you can put an EQ in front of it and just see that the sound is mainly over somewhere around here 100 to 1k and to get exactly there we need to just put the reverb somewhere there there's not much sound over here so there's less it basically doesn't process that much signal over here and same goes over here so the sound is somewhere over here which needs that high that needs the signal for the reverb to act accordingly so this is basically the input processing and uh, let's go to the next thing uh, the next thing which we are gonna see is the early reflections so what are early reflections are basically uh, something to do with uh, how does the um, but how does the reverb look so the reverb has this reflections the early reflections which come in the start of the reverb and at the end there is a tail which is called a reverb tail which is at the end of the reverb so it goes through phases and early reflections is the start of the reverb and the early reflections what you hear so the term basically explains what it is basically so it kinds of adds uh, some kind of randomness to the sound you can say so it almost feels like a chorus uh, the uh, in the sound so chorus is basically a plugin in Ableton which adds kind of a randomness to the sound and it doesn't make it look raw so uh, so if you don't add spin to the reverb like there is no spin on in the early reflections it's basically like a, the sound is uh, very neat and it's, uh, in a perfect kind of a reverb or perfect kind of a room but normally in a real rear real case scenario you wouldn't have a perfect room with the perfect reverb and you'll have some kind of abnormality to it so that is what the spin is you can say so when we add the spin I would 
would recommend uh, using headphones to uh, watch this tutorial because there's are some very uh, sounds the difference in sounds which you can hear using headphones and i would recommend using headphones so this is basically the spin there are two parts to the section there's early reflections and a diffusion network so uh, when we turn this down you can just hear the diffusion network when you hear turn this off and you turn this on so basically you hear the reflections so the early reflections are what you are hearing okay so this is the early reflections part of the sound uh, another thing i would next thing would i would explain is this pre delay so what is this pre delay pre delay is basically uh, so before the reverb comes in uh, how much delay do you want in the sound so before the uh, input signal and the reverb there is a delay and that delay is this delay basically so if you turn it the whole up you can hear something like this we need to turn on the diffusion for that so there is a delay of around uh, one fourth of a second before the reverb comes in when you turn it down it goes like so it comes immediately and this is the delay so you can just go it a little low cut it and see so <coughs> this is basically uh, the pre delay uh, is basically the you can say is the difference of time from the actual input signal coming in and the reverb coming in and let's go to the next section so the next thing which we are going to go is to is the shape knob so shape knob basically plays with your early reflections and it basically is like how long do you want your early reflections to be there so it's very subtle and you really don't hear it much but uh, i'll just show it to you very subtle and you really don't hear it uh, maybe some setting would allow us to hear it properly but uh, in a normal setting you really don't hear the shape not doing much of it uh, so let's go to the next thing uh, next thing is the eco so eco quality is basically the quality of the reverb what you want uh, so here hmm, what i would say is people will normally keep it too high for uh, a better sound but this is also a creative choice and uh, it can be a very good uh, um, option to keep it at eco also to make sure that you get that <coughs> rustic kind of a sound rustic kind of a reverb so of course a high EQ, a high reverb may eat a little more of cpu but i don't think so it will be much so it's very subtle and you can <coughs> hear some of it uh, next is the size the size of the reverb is basically like the room in which your reverb is you know, where your sound is so it can be the size of the reverb so you can go from a very less size to a very big size kind of a room This is basically like a stereo mono thing, so this will be to totally mono. And this will be stereo. So the stereo knob is basically it tells you 
that's basically what it does uh yeah so this is the stereo knob and let's next go to the next knob uh the next thing is the decay time so basically uh decay time is uh how much time does the reverb take to drop to uh basically minus 60 db uh basically what minus 60 db is something which you can't hear so how much time it takes uh, the whole uh, sound to drop to uh, levels that you really can't hear so that's the decay time of the sound so decay time basically allows the reverb to be huge as well so the size and decay time work together so if you have a higher size and a higher decay time uh, you would hear a huge reverb so i've changed this to a pad so just hear it This is the decay time uh, of the sound. Uh, that's and it's fairly normal. And if you are um, into music production, you probably know the word decay. And let's go to the next thing, and that's the diffusion network. So the diffusion network is basically what plays with the tail of the reverb. So this is more like a cut over here. So this is something similar to the input processing over here, and it basically you can play with the reverbs uh, frequencies and which how much do you want it to have. So if we turn off the reflection section and just hear that this. So I can say that I need to low cut it over here and then high cut it over here. And so your low cut will be this much and the high cut will be this much, this long. So just let's hear it. You see how the sound basically uh, more higher frequencies came in as I just turn this on so that's how the sound plays with the diffusion network uh, so you can look at it you can look at both the things over here so So somewhere over here next thing is the freeze knob freeze knob basically freezes the sound so if you press this so basically that's what the freeze knob does it freezes the reverb sound and then you can keep playing or playing notes over the top of it example like this so that's the freeze now for you uh, the flat basically is uh, it bypasses the high and the low shell filters when the freeze is on so your uh, it gives you a very flat sound and the cut basically is uh, basically we uh, it doesn't allow new the newer uh, notes to be played or if the cut is off then you will hear a very nuisance kind of a sound which is not that much great but uh, you can use it for creative purposes it's only for the freeze knob so these two things work together <coughs> next we go to the density density is basically the density of the diffusion network uh, so the lower uh, a little less density will produce a uh, basically a thinner sound and as you go uh, basically increase the density you will get a denser kind of a sound for the diffusion network <laughs> we come to the scale uh, basically scale is the kind of like the coarseness of the diffusion uh, so if you have a bigger scale you'll have a denser or a darker sound so basically these two knobs uh, play with the diffusion networks size in a way you could say and then then again there's this chorus so basically chorus is uh, 
as you know chorus is basically same like the early reflections and it adds a bit of a randomness to the sound it's basically actually there's a sine wave which is modulating the uh, sound a bit so same the chorus I think so this explain everything of our reverb and as you know the dry wet and this is basically how much signal do you want the dry is totally dry so you don't hear the reverb at all and wet is totally you just hear the reverb so I guess this explains to us our uh, reverb and uh, Ableton has this help feature on the left which basically gives you every detail of the plugin uh so that's i think so you thank you for watching this video you must have understood uh basic concepts of reverb at least uh the tail of the reverb the early reflections the diffusion network the intensity the scale the decay time the stereo width of the reverb and these are the main things you need to understand too and you need to play along and just uh understand by <coughs> by doing things with it uh so that's it for this video uh thank you for watching if you watched till here uh new videos to come on uh, ableton plugins audio effects and stuff and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'm starting a discord group as well so for uh, you people to connect and uh, we'll connect there and uh, any questions you have to me or if i have to you also uh, i would put there so I will link the discord in the chat uh, sorry in the uh, in the description box and uh, hope to see you there in the discord as well so thank you see you in another video